Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And today we have a pencil review. Um, something really interesting that struck me. Uh, and I was speaking with one of my colleagues uh, at work and I was wondering about pencils. Uh, my, my colleague is a um, Italian professor, and I was wondering about pencils that were made in Italy. Uh, so I was doing some research, and I ran across this, the Perpetua pencil. And it is made in Italy. And it is a pencil, but it's uh, a pencil with a purpose, we might say. So this pencil uh, is made 100% in Italy, and it is really focused on renewable and recycling. And I think it was really cool. Uh, and in looking for ones that I could obtain online, I noticed the variation on these really is here, the eraser. Um, and apparently this is an eraser here at the tip. Uh, it comes in a really a multitude of different colors. And so I decided and opted to go with the blue, but um, I was just really taken by the purpose and message of this pencil. And um, let's look at it. Perpetua. And this is how it comes, by the way. It comes on a card like this. You buy them individually. They're not inexpensive, by the way. Um, I think this <clears throat> one pencil was about $9 US for a single pencil. So uh, I'll, I'll say that up front. Uh, and they are sold individually. But um, you're buying a pencil, but it's you know, it's really, it's about more than just the pencil. But let's let's get into this. Uh, I'll simply read what it says, which is Perpetua is different from other pencils. It's made from a new technological and innovative material composed of 80% recycled graphite without addition of protective coatings and other additional materials. A unique object, a veritable revolution in writing, entirely made in Italy. Versatile, clean, non-toxic, shock resistant, able to write even without sharpening, fitted with a rubber top available in 10 different colors. Perpetua Recycling While Writing Patented. 80% um, graphite uh, recycled. The Alessi Recycling Project made in Italy only. There's the website. Check it out if you really want to know more about this. This this graphite that they recycle is actually a byproduct of a manufacturing process. And they claim that this graphite would otherwise just go into a landfill if they weren't using it for some other purpose, such as this Perpetua pencil. I got a kick out of this. It says the O-rings of Perpetua's packaging that's these little rubber bands here holding the pencil onto this piece of cardboard, are made of natural food grade rubber extracted from plants and colored with natural ingredients. 
they become wearable multicolored bracelets. So, if you see me sporting around a, a bright blue bracelet, you'll know where it came from. Uh, it looks like it got an honorable mention in the Compasso Dioro um, ADI. Design uh, is by Marta Giardini. So, there it is. Um, there's the code on the back. Here's uh, the O-ring. I'm going to just try to slide this out so we can take a closer look at the pencil itself. Um, hmm. Trying to see how to best do this. I don't know. We're going to have to try to yeah, kind of get in the shadows here a little bit. Uh, there's no printing on this pe pencil, but it is embossed. So you can see Perpetua, 80% graphite. It's got the recycle triangle there, made in Italy. You'll notice it's round, almost. It's flat on one side. And that um, according to the website, is really just so that it doesn't roll. It reminds me of when I was in grade school a hundred years ago. Kindergarten, first grade, second grade. We had these crayons in school that were made by Prang and they were called Can't Roll. And can't was spelled with a K, K A N T R O L L. And they were flat, they were, you know, the big fat crayons that, that little kids use because they're easy to hold, but they were flat on one side. And I always just thought those were the coolest things. Anyways, um, the Perpetua is also flat on one side. Uh, also on the website, uh, it says that the Graphite here is formulated to a core strength of an HB. So, um, just to be clear, this is all graphite here. There's no wood. This is a completely wood-free pencil. The only thing that is on this pencil, in addition to the graphite, is this rubber tip. And I could have sworn the website said it was an eraser. The packaging did not say that. We're going to try and see if it erases or if it just is a big smudge. But uh, let's get to writing with our perpet Perpetua um, recycled graphite pencil made in Italy. Since we're using a, an Italian pencil, I thought it would be fun to use a French little notepad here to try it out on. Uh, just an inexpensive one that I picked up when I was in Paris last year at the uh, one, one of the many Monoprix stores uh, that dot every neighborhood in Paris and they have a um, they have a little state they have, well not so little actually they have a stationary section and I always make a stop there um, and see what they have and anyways so let's just try this I'm uh, it's round again with the exception of the one side that's flat it is sharpenable um, and uh, I'm gonna go and start start things off anyways just as it came with the point that was put on it um, at the factory and see what we get here
let me come in a little bit whoops sorry about that Well, it's supposed to be comparable to an HB. Um, I would argue with that, and perhaps you can tell. It is a little bit on the lighter side. Um, it's not particularly a hard pencil to the feel, but um, you can, I'm sure, hear some of the feedback from this pencil. Um, but I would put it more as a, um, a number, not an HB number two, but probably more like a three uh, or an H uh, pencil. I think European pencils, at least many that I have tried, and even ones that are earmarked as HB, all tend to be a bit harder and lighter in color than certainly we here in the United States are accustomed to with an HB pencil. That said, the point retention on this is incredible. It has dulled hardly at all. Um, there is virtually no smudge. So it's a very tight graphite. Okay, do we think this is an eraser? I'm gonna, what? what? Well, it is soft. I mean, the rubber tip, it is soft. And it does erase. Hmm. How about that? All right. And I, I guess I wasn't misreading it um, when it said that that was an eraser. Let's try some of our favorite block erasers, however, on this too, and see how that does. Here's the arch foam eraser. Um, I've got a mono here. Give that a try. Oh. Mars plastic. Mm. Pentel. Where's my pink pearl? Here we go. Well, you know, even the rubber tip eraser attached did a fairly good job across the board. Solid B. Um, on erasability. I wish it was darker. And I know the lights that I use probably even wash it out a little bit more, but it, it's, it's light. But I can't imagine, though, how long a pencil like this would last honestly because that th it's really not wearing at all um let me see if i've got a it's wider than a normal pencil i'm gonna don't know if it will fit through a 
No. Too, too large. All right, let's see if I can. Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm just really curious as to the, see, see how it sharpens? You get these ribbons here of graphite. And it's all graphite, so you're essentially shaving off some of the pencil surface. But let me, um, you see, now that I've sharpened it, it's still, it's still light. Yeah, so <sighs> there it is, the Perpetua all recycled graphite made in Italy pencil. Well, I just had to try it and I'm glad that I did. And I love the idea behind them using graphite that would otherwise just go in a landfill that's a, just a byproduct of a manufacturing process and creating something that can be used. And um, unlike some of the all graphite pencils that are used in artwork, that are a little bit more rigid and fragile. This really is much tougher. Um, and it's supposed to be impact resistant. If you drop it, it won't break. So that's perhaps uh, a reason for its hardness. Um, maybe because it is fortified uh, more so than say some of the all graphite art pencils are. So that it holds up. If you like a lighter line and you like a pencil that will last a long time and you like the idea of renewable and recyclable materials, well, this may be something that interests you. So thanks for being a part of the re review here. For hanging out with me I appreciate it and um, I hope you enjoyed getting a closer look at this pencil I um, enjoyed having the opportunity to finally use it and I appreciate you watching and your time please share like and subscribe if you're so inclined and I look forward to seeing you again soon here on always analog